Hey, I've been looking around on the internet and a bunch of people have built this thing, but nobody seems to know exactly what it was. So just to show you what it is, that's what it is. And you get it on eBay for like $13.90. So I found this, actually what it really is, is a copy of, or maybe one of these, but it's an AK-130 from a company called Abra. And it is a crystal tester or matcher and frequency counter. And if you notice on the Abra model, there's a trimmer cap here. On my model, uh, you can see next to the crystal, there are two fixed disc caps. So there is no trimmer to uh, calibrate this one. I think I'll probably add something. So I drew that picture up there. That's 22 picofarad on each side on mine. And on this picture, they have a probably a zero to 30 picofarad cap to calibrate the frequency of the uh, pick 16 f 628 a so i'll probably add that later um, let me show you what it does so we're in uh, there are two modes here that with the uh, this jumper that you can pull out that looks like that you put it on the back two pins to be a, a crystal tester and the front two pins to be a frequency counter in these two uh, you can hook up a coax and, and a, a pair of leads to that i found a scope probe actually works okay without taking a bunch of effort so we power it up um, they say if you built it right, the fourth digit lights up zero, so that's a good sign. Um, it does come with a schematic, which is a super micro. You, you can look at it. And it comes with a parts list and a layout, so it's not horrible to build. Now, uh, only when I looked for this Abra in the instructions, they actually have the features guide, which nobody else seemed to find anywhere. So it has a programming mode. You push this button, and I'll show you how that looks. So I push once, harder. <laughs> Oops, sorry, back again. So it has uh, quit, uh, no PSU, add, subtract, zero, and table. So there are a bunch of features you can do with this thing. What I want to do with it is match crystals. So I'm going to use the subtract function. So it is uh, a short push to cycle through the menu and a long push to activate. So we're going to put a, first of all, we'll turn it off. We'll turn it on. We'll get back to just basic frequency counter mode. We'll put a crystal in it here. These are 7040 kilohertz crystals. I'll get my hand off of it. And I hooked up a lead to the bottom of this. Uh, basically, there's a crystal oscillator with a cap that comes out, and I hooked it to the cap and ground and ran this scope probe here up to this frequency counter. And you can see we're not calibrated because this says 7046 and this says 7042 or 41. Uh, anyway, we're gonna measure the difference anyway so we don't care about the absolute frequency. So I'm gonna write down for crystal A that we're reading 70406. And I'm going to press the button until it says sub. Okay, then I'm going to hold it down. You can see it flashes. So it stored that frequency. Now I'm going to pull out crystal A and put in crystal B. And then we should see this crystal B's oscillating frequency. Get my hands away from it. Okay, I don't know if I believe that or not. <laughs> Let me see if the crystal's in there right. Put that in one more time. Well, this isn't doing what it did the last time around, so let's, let's restart this operation once. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to hit the button until it says zero. I'm going to hold that in. That'll clear that offset frequency. Now we're going to try this again. So we'll put A in again. And we get some kind of random number generator. <laughs> All right, well, we'll stop there. I'll go figure out what happened between when it used to measure frequency and now it doesn't. So thanks for watching. One more shot coming up.